Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and today I'm going to talk about The Neon Demon, which I just watched on Netflix. So this is, I believe, a 2016 horror film, and it is very atmospheric, very beautifully lit. The score is beautiful. The story is a bit strange. From what I've gathered, there is a very young girl, I believe she's 16, named Jessie, who has come to LA to be a model because she figured she didn't really have any other talents, so why not use her beauty as her meal ticket, I suppose. She lives in a hotel which is run by a very creepy Keanu Reeves and has a gentleman friend whom I forget his name. She's also associated herself with a makeup artist who puts makeup on the living as well as the dead in her work job, and a couple of other models photographers. They're not really important. The models and the makeup artists are, however. We watch her as she goes from a very naive woman to then kind of falling into a bad crowd with the girls, and a lot of things happen from there. Maybe not all of it is her fault, as we learn that the girls are part of a coven, and they're essentially getting her to unwillingly partake in a ritual where I'm not going to spoil anything, but I mean, if you know that the whole movie centered around beauty and natural beauty and everything, you can kind of put the pieces together. It is said a lot that Jessie is the just benchmark for natural beauty in this movie. And there is a model that has a lot of plastic surgery done and it's kind of, there, there's kind of a shitty comparison made between the two saying you can tell she's plastic, but she's just pure. And that kind of like didn't sit well with me because any sort of elective cosmetic surgery is completely up to the person. And I don't feel like there should be any shaming in that, but that's definitely not the purpose of this movie. But I will leave it here as it is spoiler free. What did I like about this movie? I did enjoy the score. As I said, it was really good. It took me a bit. There's like a reoccurring uh, theme that happens that I first kind of didn't catch on to because I did watch this in two parts while doing cardio at the gym because it's two hours plus. So an hour each time. This really says a lot for my attention span, but I, th I thought it was something in the background happening at first because it was so subtle. So that, that's nice that it's not like a blaring in your face thing. You kind of really do need to pay attention to it. I thought the hidden symbols in the movie were really neat. Once I started to realize what was going on, the gore, there is not a whole lot of gore, but there is enough gore that I was very happy. I thought it was really well done. There is a disgusting part at the end involving an eyeball, which if you are new to the channel, I have chronic eye diseases and that just is repulsive and way to go. Let's move on to my dislikes. This is a two hour plus movie. I can't, I can't hang. I can't do it. I can't watch this all in one sitting. And I felt like it could have been cut down a lot. There's a lot of scenes I understand that they were there to push the story forward and kind of show deeper into how things were happening, but they did not need to be there. There didn't need to be these really, really long shots of the same thing happening. And then they, you would use the same shot over and over and over again, just unnecessary I start to lose whatever small attention span I have invested in this movie when stuff like that happens. That's me. Uh, I, I don't really feel like I found Jesse's character super likable, which makes me sound like a bitch, but I don't know. Maybe it's the actress, no shade, but I just, I, I couldn't get emotionally invested in her. <sighs> But I did like uh, the fact that the makeup artist worked both on the living clientele as well as the past clientele. I guess I would rate this probably like a three out of five. 
it could be a lot shorter, but I felt like it was a beautiful movie. I did enjoy watching it. I don't think I'd be able to watch it again in like one shot. I'd probably need to stop it a few times, but that's me. I found it on Netflix. I'm sure that it's probably streaming on other platforms as well. I didn't find this on Netflix. I found this on Amazon Prime. Just ignore what I said. I watch a lot of movies. Um, but yeah, I'm sure it's available other places. Have you seen this movie? What are your thoughts on this movie? Let me know down below or you could tweet it at me. If you did enjoy the video, please do give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I'd love to have you. Hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator, and I also have a channel on iTunes for podcast. Thanks to the Farsighted Network, please also check out all of their creators. And I'm going to be a gothy in all black demon. See you later, guys. Thank you.